It's mid-May and my wife and I are getting ready to go do some uh, truck bed camping. The last time we were in uh, Colorado and northern New Mexico, we went tent camping. This time we're going to go truck bed camping. Uh, my wife uh, loves to tent camp and uh, that's how we do it in the Garza Limer family. I've been bugging her to get a travel trailer, spend some of our cash that we have in the bank, but she says no, not quite yet. So I'm trying to be patient. I would prefer to have my own toilet, my own uh, shower area, my own refrigerator for sure, and all that stuff, but uh, we're still roughing it. And we're both in our mid 60s. I'm 66, she's 63. So we're still okay. My wife packs some, uh, she's gonna make some coffee, oatmeal, a lot of coffee, and a lot of odds and ends. So we're in, we're gonna go shopping probably in a couple of days uh, uh, before we head out on Monday and um, buy some more stuff. I still have some water from my uh, trip to uh, Florida, on which I picked up my brother from the hospital and uh, sent him on his way to uh, California to stay with family. So I have plenty of propane. And those silver rolls are my uh, window coverings. We have two sleeping bags, two pillows, two mats, uh, and that's about it. That's our comfort. So we're going to sleep on two mats. We have two pillows, and it's supposed to be in the teens or 20s and in the uh, mountains there. So it's going to be rather cold. And we're used to that. We're used to cold weather. So my wife's going to bring some uh, cold, you know, blankets uh, and also some. Uh, uh, down comforters and stuff like that so we're gonna stay warm that way we used to camp in uh, the Tahoe mountains it was freezing and uh, we sort of got used to it doesn't bother us too much we're gonna take our own water so we're gonna wash our hands also we got towels we got you know just about everything I packed this little uh, little shovel there in case we get stranded somewhere I can always dig a hole and poop in the hole and cover it up you know as long as I'm not on the trail I figure that's perfectly fine and of course, this um, is part of my uh, setup for the, uh, t we have the, uh, I bought a little $150 cover for my back of my uh, tailgate there. So I can uh, have a little uh, extra area. If it's warm enough, <laughs> it's warm enough, it's warm enough, we're gonna do that. But in all probability, we're gonna be all locked in and uh, keep out all that, you know, super cold weather. So let me show you what's inside my truck. Right here we have um, my tools, my axe, all my various tools and uh, wheel shocks. This goes on and on and on. Let me close this up. Oh, there it goes. I brought some cardboard to cover my chairs so I don't destroy them. I'm gonna put these cardboards in the front when we move all that stuff from the back to make the bed. We're gonna move it to the front. And uh, that's how it's gonna go. Right over there we have a cooler and another box. I'll show you that. One second here. Let me go around the car. This is my 2016 Chevy Colorado LT two-wheel drive. Uh, I got, so there's our food, some of our food. We're gonna add more food uh, when we go shopping in a couple days the day before we head out the road and we're gonna have more stuff so we we're mainly gonna eat can out of the cans cans we're gonna have canned soup canned beans canned fish canned everything we're gonna have water and canned food so that's gonna be our diet and we're gonna grill uh, maybe something if we happen to hit a grocery store and get something fresh we're gonna grill it too but in all probability most of our food's gonna be canned we're not uh, hoity-toity folk you know it would be nice and there's our my little Coleman grill have in the back seat I moved the seat so I can show you this right now of course I have extra blankets I have ch plenty of charging receptacles so I look forward to going on this trip and uh, camping again in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado for a couple weeks that should be a lot of fun a lot of fun and my wife and I are very much nature people and we don't mind uh, a little cold a little heat 
a little roughing it. Uh, we don't need to sit there and just marinate and get fat. We like to uh, live a healthy lifestyle. So, my wife's a vegetarian, so during this trip, pretty much all my food here is vegetarian. And um, so we're gonna eat that. I, in that cooler, hopefully we can uh, put a couple beverages, you know, once in a while, but we, again, don't have any refrigeration in here and we don't like to have spoiled food. So that's us. Let me get back here on my uh, Chevrolet Colorado LT. Uh, extended cab, we have two chairs. Should be great, I'm really excited. Again, if you like nature, uh, you don't mind roughing it a little bit because you're like to commune in nature. You don't uh, just want to be have a living room at a campsite or an RV resort. We're not that kind of folk. We've always uh, backpacked into the wilderness uh, for like a week. And we've camped all over the Sierras, New Mexico, Colorado for extended periods of time. When it rained, it snowed, who knows what. We've done it. And we enjoy it. Uh, it's my wife's uh, professor at the university and the head of the department. So she's excited to get away from the uh, academics and the students. And just commune with nature. So if you're like uh, us, I think this is a good way to go. At least until we get a small travel trailer. Maybe spend 20, 25,000 on a travel trailer. Maybe in a year or two. If I get my way, if my wife gets her way, in five or ten. So this is Jesus Manuel Managarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.